Hola mi amigos, it is I, Screpy, Screpy the Painter. <laughs> Just kidding guys, I very welcome back to another video of Mr. Garage Works. Today we are going to spray paint the runnage. Um, as you guys can see, I'm busy opening the turn over here and I'm going to have to give it a good stir. See ya, enjoy. So what I'm about to do now is I'm mixing one liter of paint to one liter of reducer because the ratio of mixing um, the base coat is one to one. For those that um, don't know, that is the ratio of mixing base coat. I'm about to add the reducer right now. Um, just a quick note that it depends also on your viscosity of the paint. If your paint is thick, you want to add a little bit more. But uh, the rule of thumb is the ratio is one to one. So stick with, with that ratio. But if your paint still seems a bit thick, then add a little bit, a little bit more reducer. guys the moment that i've been waiting for so so long to lay down this paint on this body is about to happen 
I'm so excited to do this. I'm just grabbing my mouse real quick and then I'm gonna lay down the paint. You guys can see I'm starting from the front of the car and um, always make sure that you spray the underneath of the fender because you usually miss those spots. So yeah, I'm, I'm laying down a medium coat as you guys can see. Do not spray a heavy coat on your first coat. Uh, you, should, you should actually spray like a dust coat or a light coat but I went ahead and sprayed a medium coat just to make the process quicker and so that I can have the coverage of the paint. So be very careful when doing this step because you might have runs and we do not want to have any runs on your base coat. So when spraying the sole, make sure that you bend down low so that you can get into those places where you can't reach. Um, as you guys can see here, I am spraying the door and I'm giving a 50-50 overlap because that is what is needed for good coverage. The set I'm doing now where I'm spraying door to door is, is not really recommended but it, it depends also on um, your equipment like the, the compressor. If the compressor can keep up because you should actually do like a walk like from the fender, from start of the fender right through to the back you should do a long length walk. I'll show you guys in when I do the other side. If you're liking the content thus far please do drop a like down below and if you want to see more of this content please do consider subscribing thank you guys so much I appreciate it The section here was quite tricky to do because I was supposed to actually remove the fin but I couldn't get it removed because the previous person that walked on this car really did a good job sealing down that fin. I actually wanted to hang it up and um, spray it but I couldn't get it removed but I managed to get it though, I managed to get color where it should lay though, it was just a bit tricky. What I'm doing here, I am adjusting the gun because I noticed that the pen that the pattern wasn't correct and my fluid screw so I was just adjusting that right there and I got it all sorted so now I'm about to spray the bumper. <laughs>
so I went ahead and sprayed the top pillow first because I want to show you guys how to do the long walk from back pillow to the fender in one go. I'll show you guys that in a second. So you want to start from the back pillow and you want to go all the way down, right down and do not um, be concerned if, if it's not a straight line you just all you have to be concerned about is your overlap so make sure that your 50 50 overlap is there you guys will see the result in a bit I do have a bit of an advantage because my arms are quite long so that's why I can stretch that far <laughs> but um, yeah so you want to do the slow walk right through and just make sure of that overlap do not worry about the line and that's how it should be done I'm about to, to start uh, the clearing process. I went ahead and put it on time lift just to make the process a bit quick. So yeah, as you guys can see, I'm speeding along the car <laughs> and laying down that clear. If you guys are wondering which clear I'm using, I'm using a HS clear. I'll show you guys that in the outro in a bit. So over here I'm giving my final final coat of clear. I already went ahead on the other side so just want you guys to see the final result. So yeah, yeah this was a very very satisfying feeling laying down that, that second coat of clear because yeah, it, it makes the, the paint pop so so much. It's a bit of a um, of a slow-mo coming up. In just a butt in a quite in a second right here somewhere. There we go. Look at that clear lay down. Yes, yes. This is my passion guys. I love doing this work. So yeah. I love it so so much. Everything changes. watch the video finish please <laughs> yeah i'm just doing my checks making sure everything is okay and yeah that's that's the end of the display nice. 
Yeah guys, there's all done the final result of the respray <laughs> for now. Um, there are a bit of dust particles on there due to our setup that we have over here. <laughs> we are using bed sheets, but we didn't have enough to close this but over here. So yeah, it came out pretty good. You guys can see the shine. You can actually see where, like the reflection in there. Yeah, you guys can see me. <laughs> so yeah, it's just the dust particles that this was on there due to that um, our facility. But it should come out with the puff and the sanding and the polishing should come out. It's just that, but it came out nice. For the shit up that we're in, I think it came out quite good. Let me just show you quickly how the clear. If you guys are interested in maybe watching in this clear as MIPA clear, or as an HS clear, made in Germany. So yeah, I'm actually happy with the result that this clear gave. Let me just show you the bumper. The mirrors and our handle fittings over there. We're gonna smoke light. We're gonna smoke the lights now in the butt. We only have three beadings. We're waiting on the owner to get the, the fourth one, but she recommends us to leave it off for now, for the time being. And then when eventually when she does get it, and then we're gonna put it on. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it for this one. This is actually our five take. We did now five takes on that, that ending because <laughs> our foot is it's corrupted or something is happening. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, that's gonna be it for that one for now. We still have yeah. to do our uh, buff and polish and assembling. Yeah, the final touches. So yeah, anything else you want to say? Please like, subscribe, and add your comments, please. We would like to know from your side what you think. It's a net for your school friends. And please, send us calls to respray, but not to too much damage. Yeah, guys, we are trying our best on. So yeah, guys, we are trying on. Uh, as you guys can see, we are yeah. unemployed and stuff, but we do uh, respray like small talk and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, you guys saw the setup, don't expect like a professional job, but you will get a decent job though. You guys will see when it's done, how the results will be. Yeah, that's it for yeah. this one. Yeah, see you guys in the, the next, next one. one.